hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem simultaneously x y equals 10 this is our equation 1 now x plus y equals 8 this becomes our equation 2 now how do I deal with this from this second equation what if I say x is equal to 8 minus y and then I'll call this equation 3 you know I have not changed anything and this is still very acceptable now what equation gave birth to this equation 3 it is this equation 2 right okay so because it is equation 2 copy down the equation 1 and put in the value of x so we're going to have x y equals 10 this is our equation 1 now in place of x I'm going to write all of this so I write y first then in place of x I write 8 minus y then everything is equal to 0 at this point we can open the bracket so we have 8y minus y squared equals 10 and like I always do I'll ensure that the one with the highest power appears first so I'm going to write y squared negative y squared then I write plus 8y I want this to come to the left so we have minus 10 and this is equal to 0 to remove this negative multiply all through by negative 1 so this will give me y squared this will give me negative 8y and this will turn to plus 10 everything equals 0 now here we are having a quadratic equation and it is left for us to decide the formula to use or the method to use okay so we'll be using the formula method because we are looking for the value of y y will be the subject y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac over 2 times a now from here now the next thing is to get your abc remember we have abc in the formula our a is a coefficient of y squared that is 1 our b is a coefficient of y that is minus 8 and c is a constant which is 10 now let's put all of this into the formula so that y will be equal to in place of b minus b i'll be having 8 because we have negative negative it will give us positive then plus or minus we have b squared that will be minus 8 in bracket squared then minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 10 so we divide all this by 2 times 1 to continue y will be equal to 8 plus or minus minus 8 squared is 64 then minus 4 times 1 times 10 that will be 40 then we divide this by 2 okay so we are going to continue from here so that we have y to be equal to 8 plus or minus 64 minus 40 will give us 24 okay that is 24 and then this will be divided by 2 but mind you 24 here can be simplified so we have y to be equal to okay so y to be equal to 8 plus or minus we have um let's bring out the highest you know perfect square that's a factor of 24 the highest perfect square is um 4 and it is 4 times 6 that will give us 24 so we divide this by 2 
Now, to continue, y will now be equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 6. This is over 2. So, y now will be equal to 2 can go here. We have 4 plus or minus. The same thing will go here. And we have root 6. So, this means that y is equal to 4 plus root 6 or 4 minus root 6. Now, let's get our corresponding values of x from here. Remember when we say that x is equal to 8 minus y, and we call this our equation 3. Now we are going to use this equation 3 to get the value of um, x. So our x will now be 8 minus open bracket in place of y. I'll write this first. 4 plus root 6. To open the bracket, x will be equal to 8 minus 4, then minus root 6. Because this negative will multiply 4 to give us negative 4. A negative will multiply root 6 to give us negative 6. Now, x is equal to 8 minus 4. That will be 4, right? So, write 4, then negative root 6. So, what are we saying? We are saying that when x equals 4 minus root 6, y is equal to 4 plus root 6. Now, let's get the other value of x from this value of y, 4 minus root 6. So, I'm going to have um, x equals 8 minus y. So, we have x now to be equal to 8 minus open bracket, y is 4 minus root 6. So, x is now 8 minus 4 plus root 6. This negative times this negative, negative times this turns to positive. Now, this means that x is equal to 4 plus root 6. So, what are we saying? We are saying that when x is equal to 4 plus root 6, y equals 4 minus root 6. Thank you for watching this video to the end. And if you love my method of teaching, do well to share this to your friends and equally, you know, give me a thumb up. Thank you.